Welcome to another episode of Wales on TV. When you feel sick, you may feel a bit tired, you have a fever, you get the sniffles, and you just want to stay home all day, snuggle yourself under a blanket. But did you know that whales and dolphins can actually get sick too? Dolphins and whales are susceptible to a wide range of bacteria, viruses, fungi and parasites. Scientists believe that some diseases may even be specific to a certain order or even species. And symptoms may vary depending on which part of the body that is affected by the disease. For example, in 2013 we saw an increase in botanous dolphins deaths in the North Atlantic. And when the scientists studied this closer, they found a very small culprit behind these die-offs. The dolphins were infected by a morbidly virus, a family of viruses that we can also find in humans which can cause the measles. It is highly contagious and notorious for causing cetacean strandings. In 2007, in the Meridian Sea, we could see over 100 striped dolphins stranded and a majority of them tested positive for morbidly virus. Another family of viruses that you might have heard of before is the herbivore viruses. This is a group of viruses that scientists have found sporadically in cetaceans, either dormant or causing infections such as skin lesions. But more research is needed to fully understand how herpes viruses affect dolphins and whales. The different characteristics of cetacean population of species can also influence what risks they face for catching a disease. Research indicates that a population which is really clustered and mostly stays in one area face a greater risk of transmission of pathogens between individuals in the group, while solitary but migratory animals might be facing new viruses from different areas of the world. In the end, pathology, the study of diseases, is still a relatively new field in the marine mammal world. However, to understand the role of disease in cetaceans is really important for the conservation and well-being of whales and dolphins in our oceans. Thank you for watching our episode. If you liked it, please check out more of our videos on our channel, Wilson TV, and see you next time.